Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Christine and we are going to be whipping together a four ingredient base recipe using uh, a few different items that I have left in my fridge that I need to use up and we're going to be making our own ice cream. So I just thought I'd show you the super simple base recipe that you can add all kinds of fun stuff to. So come on with. Okay, well here we go. Don't mind, <laughs> I'm debuting my new apron, which you'll be able to see in a little bit. So don't mind his eyes looking right at you. Um, this is such a simple recipe and making your own ice cream is healthy for you. There's literally four ingredients in this and I had some heavy whipping cream to use up. So the recipe is super simple. So it is one cup of heavy whipping cream and I'm actually just putting it in my Ninja um, you can hand mix this, uh, probably roughly like five minutes or so. And then I'm also trying to use up my sugar. So it is one and a half, let's see, one and a half tablespoons of sugar. And you can use honey and maple syrup and things like that. I'm just trying to use up what I actually have on hand. And then literally just like a pinch of salt. So one little pinch and then the final ingredient is my homemade um, Madagascar vanilla it's so, looking so good this is from uh, November of 21 so it's super nice and dark and I'm just gonna get this open and it is you are going to be adding a teaspoon and a half and roughly a half and that is literally it. The trick is the blend. So I'm using my 1000 watt Ninja on the ultra blend mode. So like I said, you can put this in a bowl and hand mix it for roughly five minutes or so. But this is, I'm just gonna give it a, a little shake to make sure like the sugar and everything is not stuck on the bottom. There we go. And I'll be back in just a second after this is done blending. Okay, it's done blending. We did the ultra blend. I'm just opening it up and then I'm putting it in smaller jars. I mean, you can see <laughs> what it looks like. I'm gonna get a spoon here and kind of scoop it out. It looks so good. I mean, it's kind of already creamy, but you're spooning it out into whatever jars, and then you're gonna let them freeze, I wanna say at least two hours. So I'm not making these real thick um, so that they won't freeze, but that you won't even believe the consistency. It tastes just like ice cream because that's what ice cream is made out of. So let me get these filled up and then I'll show you. I did a little sample earlier to show you the consistency so we don't have to sit around and wait. And then I'll show you what you can actually put on top of it to make it even more fun. And like I said, this is just a base recipe and instead of the sugar, you can add honey, maple syrup, whatever kind of floats your boat. So I'm gonna get these in the freezer and then I'll show you, we'll do a test taste from the earlier batch. Okay, so the batch I did earlier, it literally was in the freezer for roughly three hours and I just let it sit out for a little bit, but I use the same type of jars and it is, just like ice cream oh, whoop, whoop. and very vanilla-y but the consistency let's see if you can see it I mean it's like I said it's just like ice cream so I just wanted to talk to you too about it being a base recipe you can add chocolate etc you can add 
you know, strawberries things and, and such. So something fun too, adding um, a jam to it to make it, you know, whatever flavor that is. This is my rhubarb blueberry that I made. I think I did a video on that. But, or you can just, you know, take a little bit and top it off. Same with applesauce. And obviously same with peanut butter. There's some fruit. Um, I do have some maple syrup too. You could put a little maple syrup on it. And of course, any type of nuts or chocolate chips, you know, pretty much the sky is the limit for you. So let me know what you think of this recipe. You have to pretty much like sweet ice cream because this recipe with the um, whipping cream and the sugar and then whatever sweetener, you know, that you want to use, it definitely is sweet. So I am going to be doing a video here in a little bit um, making my own whipped honey. So maybe put a little whipped honey in it instead of the uh, granulated sugar. And then uh, if you saw the video, give it a shake before you actually pour it or actually bit before you blend it to make sure that the granules aren't stuck to the bottom. So I'm going to get to eating this and I do appreciate you stopping by my kitchen today. And if you like videos like this, little random, but kind of super simple recipes of things that you usually have in your home, hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. Now I'm going to get finishing this. <laughs> it wasn't working for a minute ago.